Today, I want to show you how to remove breaths on a vocal track in Cubase 9. Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, if this is your first time here and you're into music production, the mixing, mastering, recording out of your home studio, click on the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Now, let's get into it. Let's first listen to the uh, track we're going to work on and just notice that you're going to hear some breaths out of that vocal track that I'm going to try to remove with a special function out of Cubase. Pourquoi pas entrer dans la ronde? Pourquoi pas déposer nos frondes? La vie est belle qu'elle n'en peut plus, même si parfois on s'est perdu. Okay, so you can easily hear the breaths out of this vocal track. So to remove those, you can remove them manually if you want to by selecting your audio segment and cut them out manually. It's going to be long, but it's doable, okay? You can also use a gate if you want to, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, using a gate on a lead vocal, I don't know, you know, on some part of the song, your lead vocal is going to be at a certain level and, you know, the chorus might be higher, so it might be a bit difficult and complicated to set up your gate with the perfect settings to achieve what you want to do here. So I have here in Cubase an easier way and a more practical way to remove the breaths out of a vocal track. So just select the vocal segment you want to work on, click on audio, go down to advanced and click on detect silence. Now you're going to see this window opening. Um, now I'm going to explain to you all the settings that I have here. Uh, first, I'm just going to zoom in. So I have a nice visual of what I'm going to be working on. First, what I have on the left side is the open and close threshold. Now with the open threshold, when the level exceeds this value, the function opens and lets the sound pass. Okay. And the audio material below that value is detected as silence. Now for the closed threshold, when the audio level drops below this value, the function closes and detects sounds below this value as a silence. And this value cannot be higher than the open threshold value. So what I do on my side, I always make sure that the linked option here is checked in. Okay, so the open threshold and closed threshold have the same value. Now let's go to the minimum time open and minimum time closed. Now the minimum time open basically determines the minimum time that the, uh, the function remains open after the audio level has exceeded the value of the open threshold. And the time closed determines the minimum time that the function remains closed after the audio level has dropped below the closed uh, threshold value. So I keep these settings at the lowest value. Now, if we go here to the pre-roll function. Um, so now the pre-roll is very important. It causes the function to open before the audio level exceeds the open threshold value. So I use this option to, um, to avoid removing the attack of the sound. And for the post-roll, it causes the function to close after the audio level drops uh, below that close uh, threshold value. So I use this option to avoid removing the natural fade out or natural decay of the sound. So I always add a pre-roll value and a post-roll value so I keep things smooth. So if we go to the output section here, I check the uh, strip silence, okay? So now it's gonna create uh, several segments, okay? And I can also click on add as regions if I want to, okay? So all of these um, separate segments that are gonna be created without the silence are gonna be added as regions at the same time, okay? So I don't need that for now. And now the compute option here, okay? So if you click on automatic, every time you're gonna work on a setting, Cubase will analyze what you're doing and show it to you visually here on top. So let's bring my threshold down to around minus 33, that's good. Okay, so the minute I move that value, I see Cubase analyzing the uh, the audio and give me a visual of what I just did. So minus 33 is my threshold for this part. And uh, I think I'm going to bring that up a bit and same here. I'm going to leave the minimum time open and close to these values. 
and the strip silence is checked in and I'm good to go. Now, if your computer is a bit slow, you can always uncheck that auto option. So every time you're gonna work on a setting, you won't see Cubase analyzing whatever you're doing. So you're gonna have to click on compute to see whatever is happening. So I always make sure I have the auto checked in. Now it detects that I have 64 regions, okay, in the entire segment I selected at first. And now I'm gonna just click on process. So there you go, my main audio segment is now divided into 64 different segments. So all of the silence and the briefs and everything has been removed. Now, what I first do, okay, I'm just going to zoom in a bit. I always, just to smooth things up, I always um, fade out and fade in each segment. Now, all of these segments are selected, so you just have to do the fade in and fade out on one segment only, and it's going to apply to all of them. And let's listen to how that sounds like. Pourquoi pas entrer dans la ronde? Pourquoi pas déposer une offrande? La vie est belle, qu'elle n'en peut plus. Même si parfois on s'est perdu. Now, maybe my pre and post roll value were a bit too high. Okay, so I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to undo whatever I did and go back into advance and detect silence. And I'm going to bring this value down. And same here. All right, I'm going to click on process again. Pourquoi pas entrer dans la ronde? Pourquoi pas déposer une offrande? Perfect, I'm just going to fade that in and fade that out. Pourquoi pas entrer dans la ronde? Pourquoi pas déposer une offrande? La vie est belle, qu'elle n'en peut plus. That's way better. So if you want to remove silence and briefs out of a vocal track, this is the way you can do it in Cubase. I have to say that removing breaths and silence is not something I do on every mix, but if I need to do so, that function is pretty useful. So guys, this is it for today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And if you enjoyed this video, please share and like, that helps the channel a lot. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.